Nocturne number 12 is in another favorite key, which is D flat major. I've always felt like D flat was such a rich, beautiful, round key. And this particular nocturne has a beautiful melody line, which sometimes leaps, sometimes has more stepwise motion, but it's almost like a, a very angelic waltz. It's in 3-4 meter. And again, I marked it Andante Sereno, so it needs to be serene, calm, but again, moving forward and never dragging. Let me just play the opening of this one for you. That's about the tempo that I think would work very, very nicely for this piece. In measure 18, at the bottom of this page, again, I, I like to try and create little slight differences in the melody when it repeats. In the opening, we had one, two, three, one. But the next time it comes in, at the bottom, starting in measure 17, we have So it's not terribly different, but it's just enough to give it some real interest and character. Be sure in measure 21 to start that turn on the upper note, very, very even. In measure 28, we have a great big leap in that right hand melody going up to a forte. So I would like for the pianist to take some time going after that leap, again, to make it more expressive, a little warmer, warm and fuzzy right there. Let me play starting in measure 27. And then once you start the cascading eighth notes, let it move forward again. This middle section is a what I would call a glorious section. It's like the full chorus comes in and it gets a little thicker in the right hand, but uh, some beautiful chords. Uh, there are some, some gorgeous sounds in this lower register of the keyboard. And again, just keep it moving forward. Uh, it starts off in D flat and then it moves into the same pattern, uh, but in C major, followed by a real appassionato section which builds and builds and builds. I'm just going to play a little bit of that section for you. Let me start in measure 33. When I arrived at that real high focal point in measure 49, right before the bar line, I took what's called an agogic accent. An agogic accent is created by a slight delay, and it just gives the, uh, the focal point uh, a little more emphasis and importance. So that's, I think, very, very important to do. 